Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And what I want to show you in this quick lesson is the difference between the cutter tool and the cutter node in Harmony Premium. All right. So I have two different little occurrences of our character Sassy Toast here. And I'm going to turn on my light table here. So we have one, that's the tool, and there's the node. Okay, so what we're gonna do, first off, for the cutter tool, and this is just on a single drawing layer here, I wanna go to my select tool and come down to cutter. Now with the cutter tool, I can pretty much draw like a little bite out of our character here. I'm just drawing it out with my mouse, All right? and then I can move that section off, okay? Now, this is destructive. I can move that section off. I can simply press delete and it's gone. Now that's the cutter tool, okay? The other thing the cutter tool is used for is, let's say if I have a simple little line like this, I can go to the cutter tool and I'm just doing little directions like this called pretty much little mouse gestures. And I think in version 21, we can do two lines at once or multiple lines at once. But then we have that there as a finished piece. All right, now that's the cutter tool. Let's talk about the cutter node. The cutter node, totally different animal. Uh, I'm gonna hit return in my node view and bring up the cutter. So I just type in cut. If you're using a version of Harmony Premium previous to version 20, you will have to come down to your node library right next to your timeline there. And then you use the search in this little area. Okay, for the cutter node, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold down my option key and drag this into my cable. All right, so the rule is the artwork lines up with the actual cutter. Now, I'm gonna need another piece here. It's gonna be a piece of artwork. So I'll do a quick little drawing layer. Let's do Command R, Control R on PC. And I'm gonna call this Byte. And I can probably even just call it mask or something like that. And we'll say add and close. Now I'm gonna pull this down to the composite for a moment so we can see what's going on. And I'm gonna grab my, use my brush tool for this. And now I'm gonna grab a color. I typically use like a bright garish color whenever I'm working on uh, masking or using the cutter. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna draw out the shape that I want. All right, maybe make this even a little larger. All right, I'm gonna hold on my I key to temporarily get the paint tool, fill that in. Okay, and so this is actually showing up now and you're wondering where does this work? Well, all right, let's move all of these over for a second. I can take the mask and I'm gonna feed it into the other part of the cutter, which is the mat here. And now we actually have a little bite out, okay? Now, the beauty of this is if I turn this off and I'm just pressing D to disable that node, everything is normal. Press A to enable it. There we are. Last but not least, I can even take the mask here. Let's add a peg. We'll do Command P, Control P on PC. All right. And if I go to my transform tool, this is me moving that little mask around. By the way, my type is still up here, so you can even mask that. And of course, I do need to change my pivot point. 
Let's move that there. And there we have it. Okay. So there is our mask tool versus the mask note. All right, if this has been helpful, please be sure to go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell so you can see what else we're up to. Last but not least, we have been doing mini workshops and we have another one coming up on Saturday, March the 26th. And it's gonna be Character Rigging and Harmony Part Two, Deformers 101, where you're gonna see how we work with different pieces of our character, adding deformers to the arms and to the legs. Uh, we're gonna do some more stuff with the cutter, as well as we'll be using some advanced masking and working with art layers to go ahead and design out the eyes for our character. So you can sign up for the link in the description or on the info card. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Make art, not excuses. So go make something. Have a good one.